Welcome back to Luke's Homebrew. This is the third installment of the tier ranking list of the classes in D&D. If you haven't seen the Bard ranking, I, I recommend checking that out up in the corner or down in the description. Today, we are going to break down and rank the Masters of Meditation and Drunkenness, the Monk. The Monk first appeared within 1975's Blackmoor Supplement as a subclass of Cleric that was intended to be a combination of a thief and a fighting man. Why it appeared within a cleric class is beyond me. However, it was definitely powerful enough to spawn itself as a class of its own in 1978 when Advanced Dungeons & Dragons 1st Edition was released, thus finding itself as one of the five core classes of the game. Since 1978, the monk has seen some variants Though the general inspiration still remains tied to the East, and for good reason. The Shaolin monks are at least third level characters when they become a master in real life. As for 5th edition Dungeons and Dragons, however, the monk remains one of the best classes within the game, as portrayed expertly by Marisha Ray of Critical Role as Beauregard. The monk does not need to follow deep seated stereotypes, and can be a normal person with unique strengths. I tend to think of monks as people that have mastered controlling every aspect of their body. And that kind of mental willpower allows individuals to tap into the latent powers of just being an ordinary human. Except at 200% of course. Let's talk about the mechanics of the monk though. The monk starts off at level 1 with natural armor and martial arts. Level 2 is a rather large power spike that increases their movement speed and gives you some abilities to use in the few various situations, most notably for Flurry of Blows, which gives you three attacks at level two. At third level, there are three core subclasses that you can pick from in the PHB and seven DLC subclasses, if you include the Cobalt Soul Monk from Critical Role. Most of these subclasses are relatively balanced as your subclass is not necessarily impactful compared to the core class components uh, generally for the monk. However, I am partial to the Shadow and Sun Soul monks myself. But as you continue to level up, the monk keeps pace with all the other classes and shines from levels 5 through 15. During these levels, you continue to upgrade what you have already acquired and are blessed by the glorious presence of Stunning Strike. Stating when you hit a creature, you may spend one key point and they must succeed on a constitution saving throw or be stunned until the end of your next turn. This allows you to stun lock enemies for rounds on end and induce early balding to your DM. But from levels 15 through 20, you continue to grow in power and versatility, but this is generally where the wizard and the other spellcasters begin to outshine most other classes. The capstone ability amongst is rather disappointing and quite honestly unless useless as it is for the bard. However, the 18th level ability uh, makes up for that and should be considered the real capstone ability for monks, as it grants you the ability to astrally project. In addition to being very versatile and powerful uh, through all but the final stages of a campaign, monks have strong multi-class potential into rogue, cleric, and Druid uh, with their emph emphasis on the two key stats of 5e, Dexterity and Wisdom. Overall, the Monk is a very, very powerful class. My final ranking for Monk would be an 8.9 out of 10, or an A plus tier. It got close to S tier, but that final last five levels, while it's good, doesn't stack up to some of the other classes that we're going to start breaking down soon. But if you did enjoy the video, please consider hitting the like button and subscribing. For more insight and sneak peeks at my two books, uh, Jebdo's Reference Guide to the Multiverse and the new tabletop game Crusades of Conquest, uh, please consider joining the Discord link below. And if you want to support the channel and future homebrew content, such as those two books, my Patreon is linked down below. Thank you all very much for watching, and I'll catch you next time.